Welcome to freephotoshop.com and welcome to a beginner's guide to Photoshop Elements 11. In this course we'll explore Adobe's consumer level image editing application in more detail than ever before, working through various real world projects one step at a time. Whether you're new to the software or just someone wanting to hone in on their skills, I'm confident that this course will advance your knowledge and understanding and turn you into a confident, competent user who knows their way around the four key areas of Elements 11. Those four areas being the organizer, a place where we organize our media, the quick and guided modes, which offer simplified ways to add good looking and otherwise complex adjustments, and then the expert mode, which gives us access to everything Photoshop Elements has to offer. It's where you go when you know what you're doing. So we'll start off in the organizer where we'll look at how to import media so that we've got it available to us and then how we tag it so we can find it later on when we need it. In the quick mode we'll look at the best ways to apply fast simple modifications including taking a photograph of Elvis and turning his face green a good, light-hearted exercise that will really help me to explain the simplicity of this mode. Next we'll look at the guided mode which demands a little more user interaction to pull off some of the effects but nonetheless wields more power and practicality. I'll show you a couple of tricks including this one where we'll take a full color photograph and experiment with black and white effects which if done right can hold more power than its colored equivalent. Then we'll begin looking at the many different ways we can share our images with friends and family using platforms such as Facebook and creating our very own custom slideshow. At that point we'll step up a notch as we begin to look at the expert mode where my objective becomes transforming you from a beginner to somebody who feels comfortable using it. I have a whole chapter based around the fundamental principles of getting your feet under the table, including such topics as layers, creating new documents from scratch, answering some frequently asked questions about resolution and image size, and working with color. We'll spend a chapter looking at improving and adjusting digital photographs, including a look at how to bring out the shadows in an owl image and fixing colour and contrast issues in a few lacklustre images. Once we're confident with editing the whole image, I'll take you through the many different ways of isolating specific regions in a file by using a selection outline. This will include creating a selection in the first place with tools such as the magnetic lasso, and then perfecting the outline using the updated refine edge controls. I'll give you some top tips for manipulating photographs as we'll start off with two separate files which depict a lion and a gorilla. I'll show you how to move the gorilla into the lion image, reduce its size using the transformation controls, blend it into its new layer using some of the layer blending options available, and then finally heal away minor flaws using the healing brush. In the final chapters we'll look at adding our own custom text to image files and using the custom shape tool to add borders and birds which we can then decorate using filters, layer styles and photo effects, all of which I'll demonstrate within this series. Finally we'll learn how to blur and then sharpen selected regions of a layered file and then save it out to a host of different formats including PSD JPEG and GIF. All in all we'll be looking at over 12 hours of content and I can assure you that this course is the most thoroughly detailed painstakingly accurate collection of videos we've ever produced. If you have any questions please send me an email using the contact form at the 3 website or email me direct at matt at freephotoshop.com Either way, I'll respond within 24 hours. I think we're all set. In the next video, I'll go through some of the key differences for Mac users following along with this course. After that, I'll show you how we can find the project files that we can download and install if we so choose, 
and follow along with me every step of the way and then we'll roll up our sleeves and begin our journey through Photoshop Elements 11.